on. Uh. All right, guys. Hope everybody's doing good today. I want to talk to y'all a little bit about a couple things. First, I want to talk about this facility behind me here. This is the Children's Center Incorporated, what used to be the Jaeger House. I also want to talk about the Auditors of America, Galveston Island Transparency, News Now Ninja, uh, Good Citizen News, uh, Harvey Freebird, all of them right here. See, if y'all do y'all's homework, these people was kicked out of 45th Street, a building that was federally funded because of things they do and things they've done, okay? I can't talk too much about them, ongoing criminal investigations, things like this. It is the criminal, it is the Children's Centers Incorporated, the Children's Center Incorporated, okay? This is the Jaeger House. Uh, uh, I know these people on a first name basis because I have uh, pretty much had wars with them over the last several years, okay? This particular facility right here was actually used as a juvenile detention facility during the Obama years. It was an actual prison, okay, in our residential neighborhood, for those of you who do not know. Now, Terry Kill, James Terry Kill, what was the executive director at the time, I asked him uh, how come he is not taking children this time around with what's going on at the board with Biden or Obama, or I mean Biden administration, okay? And he said because they made him treat them like they was actual prisoners in this place, which he said they made him install like emergency phones like they do in the prisons. He said they, he had to run it like it was a prison. At any rate, this is where your tax dollars, your donations, and your your uh, grant money, a lot of it's going to, okay? Now, this right here, these weeds right here, y'all see they grew it up a couple years back. I took all this off for them. I've done it several times. Now, just like yesterday, day before yesterday, I rode through here on the rider. I lost the belt on the rider, though, when I did that yard down there free of charge. Again, not, not looking to do it, but this grass was way high like this. Man, there was a whole yard of it, so I knocked it down, but broke the belt. But I knocked that down yesterday, but I want to show y'all some stuff here. First, y'all see the fence. Now, cat, I'm fixing to kick you like a football, man. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Let's take a little walk. Y'all see the vines up there on the fence? Okay, y'all see this is due to them, man. Now these vines run wild, man. They never, 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 never. Y'all see in between the building there and back there how high them weeds are? Now, like I said, a couple years back, I did this for them, man. I did it. I maintained it free of charge because they never take care of their stuff, and it was way overgrown more so than what it is now. It was so bad, it was actually interfering with our electricity like it's getting ready to do again. Y'all see that? But I was the one killed this a few years back, but they never, ever, ever, ever do they maintain their stuff. They get these illegals to come from other countries, and then they give them these jobs, and they claim that they're uh, doing the maintenance of things like this, and then they claim they know how to do the job, which they do not. Now, they have changed this from yesterday, guys. They've already added some stuff to it, but again, I want y'all to see where y'all's tax dollars, your donations and things of this nature are going. Y'all do see several, several thousand dollars worth of seed rock sitting right there on the outside. This could very easily have been stored inside that building which would have saved this seed rock. But instead, they leave the seed rock right here. But again, guys, I want y'all to remember, News Now Ninja, Galveston Island Transparency, uh, Good Citizen News, and Harvey Freebird. Like I said, I'm on a first-name basis with most of the executives for this here facility all of them okay and i've had e emails during my my time with them but i've been busy with my wife for about six months so they've been getting away with a lot of stuff okay but they're they're uh one of their uh what is a communications officer or some public relations officer an email that i received an email correspondence i included Galveston Island Transparency, I included Good Citizen News, I included Harvey Freebird, I included News Now Ninja, these that claim to be reputable journalists, okay? Now, if they do their homework, they'll find that this facility right here was, in fact, on Channel 11, all the mainstream media when they was kicked out of 45th Street, when they brought all that over here. Y'all need to first see what they was kicked out of. Now, somehow, they've got a grant, and they are remodeling the building. 
Okay, they've got it pretty much gutted. They redid the roof in there, but again, this here right here, look how they cover up the plastic, guys, or the sheetrock. Y'all see every bit of the sheetrock is exposed. I'm already seeing mold, black mold on the edges of the sheetrock. They cover it up with a piece of OSB board, guys. Come on now, come on. There's plenty of room to store the sheetrock inside. The wood and the lumber we don't have a problem with. The storing sheetrock and stuff that the weather will run outside like this, this is, this is no. It's all very much uncomfortable. But the thing is, again, with the email correspondence with all your so-called journalists, your citizen journalists, I included them in this. And if they had half the intelligence they claim to have, if they would have read the email correspondence that I received from these people, they would know they would have a real story. But guess what? They don't have the cojones to do this story, okay? Because this one is run by the real deal. Okay, these, the Children's Center Incorporated, listen, it might help one or two Americans that can speak English, but out of a thousand, one or two speak English, okay? And I know, I'm, again, I can't talk too much because, like I said, ongoing criminal investigations and already, you know, I'm not using the police, man. I use different methods, man, but they know, they know, okay? I've seen things and I, again, they know that I'm one that will fight on their level, okay? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. Hey, ching to Madre, white boy, this is ours now. Charlie, loco. Charlie. Okay? They had no idea. Let me tell you something. Like I told you, I was in prison for a while, and then they had the adults, the homeless adults across the street. The, the, the children was housed in this facility as prisoners. The adults was allowed to come and go as they pleased across the street, partying, drinking, coming outside, pissing out, and hanging out their wieners. And, and then when they told me, he said, hey, tinga tu madre, gringo, this is ours. I said, what? I said, tinga tu madre. I said, Charlie, loco. I pulled out the knife. I stepped out in the middle of the road. I said, yo, get on them, bro. The mortar to under they wake. Tinga tu madre, fuck you. Homeboy went inside, called the cops on me. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's right, y'all have no idea, but at any rate, your tax dollars, your donations, right there they are, going to waste, the majority of them have to be thrown out because it's being allowed to be rained on, there's been a couple of floods, yep, at any rate, and again, Galveston Island Transparency, Good Citizen News, uh, News Now Ninja, Harvey Freebird, the so-called Citizen journalists, investigative journalists, that all they know how to do is provoke and try to start crap with people. They had a real story. They probably still got one. I could hook them up with the people that are executives and the executive director today, Hilda. I got her phone number on speed dial. Okay? Yeah. The one that stepped down, Terry Q, I got him on speed dial too, but he been been overseas for a while. That's what I'm telling y'all. This guy goes over there to the... Uh, you know, to the territory <laughs> quite often, at least once a month. And I've seen him come back beat up once or twice, too. Okay? That dude's 70 something years old. Now, look. At any rate, I just wanted y'all to know, man, that's a real story that your so called investigative journalists that all they know how to do is pick on the police and innocent citizens and civilians and then try to have the citizen arrested by the same cop that they hate on. Huh? They're not journalists. If they was, they would have done picked this story apart. Now, me, I'm not a journalist. I'm just trying to tell everybody that there is a story there. With that, guys, I'm out.